We're reviewing a pretty cool product today. I just wanted to say thank you to the sponsors of this video. We have a new product called the Spitter. It's called the Spitter. It's a three-in-one portable washing and heated drying machine, and it's portable. It squishes. I don't know a lot about it. We're gonna open it up together and see what it's all about because I've left it in its package. There's a couple of things I need to talk to you guys about in regards to the electrical with it. So let's dive in and get started looking at this product and testing it out. I'm excited. All right. So I wanna take a moment to give you guys a picture of what this is. It, I'm gonna put some pictures here so you can see. This is gonna be our test subject today. My daughter was sick for a couple of weeks, poor thing. And she had a really um, runny nose and got a couple of bloody noses and while she was with her dad. So she, I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's a lot of blood stains on it and this has been sitting not attended to for like four days so i don't know if it's even going to come out really well on the first washing or what's going to happen but i think we're going to add a little some more stains to it so you can kind of see what the washer can do with the shirt All right, children, I hope you come to help me with this. Get in there. Little squirt. All right. Back to work. It's pretty covered in stuff. This is what we're washing to see if the blood and the stuff will come out. The first thing I want to do though while we're going through the package is let this soak in cold water. So, that's what it just says is good for stains in general. So I might even wash it with cold water. See how it does. Okay, we're gonna open the package. The kittens are playing over here. That's what we're staring at. These two over here. I don't know if you can see. Beat up. What happened? What happened? This is our package. The washing and drying machine all in one. And it's not just a dryer that spins and lets all the water out. It's an actual dryer, they say. It's called the spitter. I've seen them before, like on Facebook ads and online but uh the company reached out to me and sent this all the way from across the seas so this is the first time we're going to be putting it all together thank you Wyatt. Ooh. this is about the same size as like uh, a pan or something if you had a pot or something in your cabinet inside of your tiny house or a bus or you could stick it in your car easily like in a compartment i just want to show you guys what this looks like Pretty cool one of the first things i notice is the connections here so you have your connections which we'll show you the cords for that here in a minute. And then another thing I noticed was this cool 
drain hose. Look at that. So when you set it down, it just you just take your little drain hose and put it wherever it needs to drain into a bucket or a cup or the sink or the tub. Wherever you want to drain it to. Another cool thing is it's got little wedgy feet here. So there's some stability that's gonna be happening. And yeah, let's take a look a little bit further. So this part comes off. This is your dryer portion. So this thing really actually heats up whatever it is you're trying to wash, which I think is crazy cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So this is what the inside of the washer and dryer looks like. It's got a little spinner here, which we won't mess with it. I'm gonna let it be how it is, but that's what's gonna actually wash your clothes. That's pretty cool. And then, whoop. this is how big the actual machine is. It's huge, but yet it's so small, you know? I love it. I love the size of it. It definitely reminds me of the Wonder Washer as far as the size goes. It's just a bucket, like an electronic bucket that folds up. That's pretty cool. And then when you're done with it, of course, when it's all, you just, Boom. All done. That's all. Is Super this, easy. Is this the lid? This is the dryer. This dryer? Why is it so small? Because it just goes right on top when it's opened oh, up. Boop. That's cool. So. And I just noticed too that the little bottoms that we were talking about before, they stick to the table. So they don't, so it doesn't go anywhere. Wait, so you can just pull it up? Mm-hmm. Well, I'm saying it's what? It's got like a. Do you hear that suction cup? Yeah. It's a, it's a suction cup. That's cool. Make sure this is okay. Yeah. Anyway, there it is. Okay. And then your dryer goes right on top. Boom. Just like that. What else comes with the spinner? You have your spinner. This is for the drying. It will go right inside. Right inside there, little spinner. Here's your USB cord. That's gonna go with that. But yep, that's for the drying portion of it. So we're gonna test this all out. It doesn't come with any directions. I asked for some directions on how to, to use it. So this is the response I got in regards to directions. I'll let you guys see that. This is what it's saying. But another thing I wanted to talk about is the voltage, the electrical. So let's let's dive into the box a little bit here that came with the item. 
All right, the final thing in the box was the cord that came. And when I received it, the first thing I noticed was, oh, Australian plugin. That's not gonna work in my American plugin. So I contacted the company and they told me to just get an adapter, right? So we got an adapter. I purchased this off of Amazon. So it goes into my plug and then you got that. And I haven't tested this yet. I'm hoping this is all gonna work out. When you purchase this item and you live in America, do keep in mind that you're gonna need a adapter. So you'll have to purchase the item, but there's still another issue. If it's 240 volts and my bus is wired for 110 volts, I need a converter, right? Right? So I asked the company if that was the case and I'll tell you, just being honest, they told me that the adapter was enough. I don't think the adapter all by itself is enough and I'm not an electrician, so I can't tell you that that's for sure the case, but I can tell you I'd rather be safe than sorry. So I also purchased a 230 watt travel adapter and power converter. So I'm going to take my adapter, stick it in there, boop, and it should convert it to 110 volts. And I'm just doing this to be safe. Plugging it into my power source. Oh. Well, what kind of plug is this? What? Hmm. Now I'm confused. Well, I discovered that the converter that I got needs an adapter to plug into the American plug. One adapter two adapter, one converter into the, into the machine. So you need a little equipment to prepare for this. You can't just buy the machine without all that stuff right there. And I don't even know where the power button is on this. So we're going to try to figure that out. <laughs> so I'm like sitting here thinking, how do I turn this thing on? Well, right here, it says dry, spin, rinse, and on and off. So that's how we turn it on. And now it's time to use it. I'm so excited. We're gonna try it out. Here we go. All right, we're gonna begin. I'm gonna go get some more water real quick. Here we go. We got our water. Let you guys look to see what that's looking like. In there, it's ready to go. Ready to go. Ready to go. I'm 
Finally, it's working. Finally, it's working. Finally, you found the button at the last Woo! minute. It's working. And this is just one shirt. Yeah. We could fill like two or three. Why come look at this? Why I keep spinning? Look at the dirty water. Look, dirty. Looks like it's working. Yeah. Sure looks clean so far. Yeah. Ooh, it smells clean. Smells clean. It says it's gonna do this for about ten minutes, so we'll check in back with you guys and let you know how it's going. It's super quiet. So guys, if you if you if you get this put open washer over here and you have a kid's bloody nose, then you can use it. And like you can get it and buy it and then you can use it. How many bloody, bloody noses nose. did you get in the last couple weeks? I got one. I thought it was three. You okay. three? Yeah. She wants to be free. It's funny. I hope it worked. What if a baby threw up all over their onesie? Yeah. Everyone's inside. The way I do. Two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes. One minute. What I like about this washer is that it only takes ten minutes. Ten minutes. Yeah, that's not a long time. <gasps> done! It's done! Oh! Okay, how do we get it to drain? Oh, there it goes. That's what you're supposed to do. Pull it out. You just go like this. Draining. Go ahead, Wyatt. See this lever right here? You should be able to pull it out and the water will come. We gotta rinse it next. That's the next step. What now we're gonna do a rinse cycle. Yeah, about the shirt because the shirt you, needs to be rinsed. Yeah, because like there's bubbles on it and all of exactly. icky stuff and gooey and icky and gooey. Imagine. Oh, and we're gonna do it for ten minutes. And if you had triplets, you could put three shirts in there for 10 minutes, so. So this is what the rinse cycle looks like. Look at me, Wyatt. And I don't even have it fully filled up. If there's one thing I learned, I think this should just be an every once in a while kind of washer. You don't really want to rely on it all the time. Hi guys, this is how the portable washer is. Alright, I think it's almost done on its rinse cycle. And we're going to dry it, or drain it. I really like the little beeper. It makes it feel really like cool. you know what's going on. Now we drain and then we're gonna spin dry it. And then we're gonna dry it with a heater, with the heater. Imagine I need your help. 
Will you hold this? Watch. Hold it from the top and shake it down. There you go. Shake it. Good job. Okay, Madden's gonna put it in. Uh -huh. We're putting it on top of those, that in there. So it's gonna kinda, there you go. This is the spin dry feature, but it also has a heater. So this is just the spin cycle that we're doing. Hopefully it's correct. It doesn't seem like it's getting a lot done in there. Well, I guess there's some fluid flowing, so. See if that studies it a little bit. It kind of does. Yeah. See, because look. Yeah. Yep. So, another thing about this, if you put the lid on, it's harder for it to shake, I guess. I don't know. Now it's time for the best feature of this entire product, I think. The heated dryer feature. So apparently you just use this cord, plug it in from <laughs> the heater. Oh good. I still have it. Okay. Ready? So I'm gonna put it in here like oh, this. Oops, sorry. Is that dirty? Let me... So yeah, I guess this is maybe the the time to show what it looks like. Remember it had ketchup and blood. Now it looks like it still has maybe a little bit of blood on the collar, but on for the most collar. part, it's pretty good. I'd give this washer like a... 8.5 out of 10. No, I give it 10 million views. Well, let's see what this heater part can do. Hey, hey, you plug it in. Can they show me where the icy dog? Can they show me where the icy dog? Heater's not working. There's absolutely no heat coming out of here. That's very disappointing. The timer works, it's counting down, but there is absolutely no heat coming out of here. And everything is drained.
this to say I'm completely out of ideas in regards to how to make the dryer work. I literally gave it everything that I could give it and this dryer is not functioning for me. I've watched a couple of other videos of people who have reviewed this product and it doesn't seem to be giving them any problems except one person. One person didn't even showcase the dryer functioning in their video or what it could do. And I'm thinking this person had the same problem as me. So if there's a way to make it work, I'll definitely change my opinion on this machine. But let's just say it's just another electrical portable washer. The biggest feature that makes it different than the other electrical washers is that it can fold down and squish and be put away. It's very um, small and that's cool. But other than that, I don't like the spinner on it. I don't think that the spinner is very um, good compared to the Cosway portable washer dryer machine that I have. And yeah, I mean, it's a cute little bucket washer, electric bucket washer. I think I'm gonna go and donate mine to the women's shelter because I don't really have a use for it. I, I think if my kid is gonna get all sick, I'll throw it in my slightly bigger washer that I have. I don't know, I, I'm not that impressed. Sorry, I really appreciated the opportunity to try this machine out and review it. I think it, it, if, somebody out there sees this and thinks it's better for them then yay we'll see you guys next time bye bye